Hey guys, so it's Ali Safavi again. We are demystifying real estate. And one of my favorite topics is five ways to find capital for real estate transactions. I can't tell you how many times I get asked, well, where am I gonna find the money? Or my credit is terrible, or how am I gonna afford this? And one of the things that's sort of axiomatic or standard in real estate is money is never the issue. It's the deal. If it's a deal, the money will find the deal. And here are five different ways to get capital or money. The first is, of course, mortgage brokers. Now, they are different from regular or uh, standard bank loan officers. Mortgage brokers really survey the field and find different ways to get capital from small, medium, and even large banks. And they do all the legwork for you. Invaluable part of your team. Okay, mortgage brokers. Two are banks. Now, banks range from huge banks like U.S. Bank or small banks like you know a federal uh, credit union. But don't get caught up in just being tied to your one bank because there's so many other banks that are competitive with each other, and they offer a really good source to find capital. The third is real estate. So if you own real estate. So you know uh, people who uh, own real estate, you can actually do lending against that collateral. And it's a really good way to tap into that equity that's just kind of sitting there. Fourth are private lenders. Now these are, these are companies that are somewhere in between publicly traded banks and hedge funds. These are just private companies that will lend money but at a higher interest rate and probably some costs in terms of points. And finally, admittedly, my least favorite are friends and family. Because friends and family will have, um, they tend to be opportunistic. So this is a great source for you. Thanks so much.